right, I'd like to share a story with you called The Reason for a Flower, written by Ruth Heller. We've been investigating the life cycle of flowering and non-flowering plants. I thought this would be a perfect book to go with that topic. So here we go. This one has become a plum. The Reason for a Flower, written by Ruth Heller. Birds and bees. And these. Beautiful illustrations. And these sip nectar from the flowers. Huge moths. Some pollen travels in the breeze without the help of birds or bees and very often makes you sneeze. You'll be learning about pollination in a, um, during this week as well. Oh, this boy's got a mess on a page here. From an anther on a stamen to a stigma on a style, pollen grains must travel and stay a little while. And then you'll see the reason for each flower, even weeds. The reason for a flower is to manufacture seeds that have a cover of one kind or another. Some grow inside a juicy fruit and it's not odd to find them growing in a pod. Maybe you recognize some of those vegetables or plants. The largest ones, a coconut. Seeds travel far and wide. Some even like to hitch a ride upon a bike or on a shoe. Squirrels hide them and forget they do. Some have burrs that stick to furs and travel at a gallop. This is how seeds are spread. Seeds can settle anywhere they find water, sun, and air, and then grow roots and stems and leaves. This is above the ground. That's what's going on below the ground. Some seeds grow up to be trees, which we've learned a lot about. These grow where it's very dry. This would be in the southwest area. And grow where it's wet, on the water or near the water. They may not look like flowers, but they're the most important yet. Rice, barley, corn, and wheat are cereals we need to eat. Millet and bamboo are a treat for animals who don't like meat. They are called herbivore, er, herbivorous, herbivorous, so they only eat plants. Would you believe these plants eat meat and they are called carnivorous? The largest flower ever found grows in the jungle near the ground, a parasite clinging tight to roots of trees that feed it. It's three feet wide or maybe four, weighs 15 pounds and sometimes more, and has a nasty odor. Rafflesia is its name. This grows in the rainforest. But here's a flower that owes its fame to a sm smelling very sweet. And scientists agreed that magnolias seem to be a prehistoric family. So they're from the prehistoric times. All flowers are angiosperm. That's an ancient Grecian term. Here are just a very few products made from them for you. All these products are made from flowers, friends. Tea, coffee, candy, believe it or not. Paper, wood, cotton. Look at all those different products made from flowers. Plants that have no flowers are fascinating too. It's a mushroom. Ooh. This one has become a plum. So that is the reason for a flower.